that England will be more beautiful than Austria. No, Austria is much more beautiful. What did you say? Austria is more beautiful. Do you know how to play I'm in love with piano? Of course. Really charming. You know the sort of women that go into those sort of bleating cats on their own? They're not even tarts. The ones that go into places like that, they want to give it away for free. Look at this weird, twisted thrill out of being pulled by some completely strange geezer. The poxier, the better. And the sort of ponces that hang about in there. Praying on women. Most of them haven't got a pot to piss in. Oh, shut up, Murray. You're a disgusting animal. Oh. Have I said something to upset you? Have you, perchance, got some handsome gentleman admirer who I unintentionally have offended? I do beg your pardon. Well, if I have, you'll be the last to know. Southern Cross, we swear by the Southern Cross to stand truly by each other, to stand truly by each other, 
and to fight to defend our rights and liberties. And to fight to defend our rights and liberties. Amen. Amen. Daybreak. Show day, 1929. For the Balfour children, the one great day of the year. I was early up because I had to groom Toby for the show. He was a pure and innocent white, that pony. Some said he had a piggy eye, but not in front of me, they didn't. Robert! Tommy got the cars in. I was the youngest child, but that didn't mean I was indulged. Stay. My father was as hard on his family as he was on himself. The whole family was preparing for the show. Our mother was ironing our much mended shirts and dresses. And our sister Kitty was wholly absorbed in her Swiss roll. Her eyes were on first prize. Elsa had already completed her entry in the ornamental writing section and was helping Norman with his vegetable collection. <laughs> Father, as ever, had the major task. The grooming of Leopoldina. Leopoldina! <laughs> Half-caste Aboriginal falls in love with a white girl. The Outbacks made him oh, tough. Half-caste Jackaroo! But her wealthy parents will see him destroyed. Was he jumping straight out of your bed and into hers? Through the pain of separation. Oh, he's gone, Claire. Get that into your head. Can their love survive? You really think you could stop us? Annie Jones, David McCubbin, Tina Bursell, and Warren Mitchell in the Australian miniseries Sensation. Jackaroo starts Sunday on 7. Caught on the front line of a war she didn't need to fight. I got a lot from Nancy Wake. She was a, she was the real deal. Swapping French luxury for the French resistance. Nancy Wake became the most wanted woman in Europe. If you don't do it, I will. Yes, there were deaths. Yes, there were tears. But she was a flower that bloomed in wartime. A dangerous time to live. A dangerous time to fall in love. And now, she can never go back home. You were born lucky, Nancy. Born to attract trouble. Same thing, isn't it? Can't get any work. 
single register. Next. Grimshaw. Married claiming B-scale rations. That right? That's right. You bagmen turn up on dull days like a swarm of locusts, like red backs round a dunny. Where's your missus? Outside. Go and see. Next. Mackenzie. E. What's all this? Sergeant's having a clean up, running a few smart bastards and uh, make an example. Where is she? Dirty, rotten little treat! You lying, mongrel, fat faced weasel! No, you never! Been. This weak apology of a human Look, being! Me mum died. Again? She keeps coming back. You, Mrs. Grimshaw? Yes, I am. No, she ain't. She's Mrs. Smith. Who are you? Mr. Smith. You said she's your wife. That's right. Bullshit, she's mine. No, I ain't. I'm his. You're mine. Cut her in half! <laughs> shut up! Everybody, shut up! If she's your wife, why is she with him? I lost it. Inside both here. We'll sort this out with a sergeant. Mr. Smith. She's my missus. We left the city together. Had a bit of a blue. I've been trying to find her. Liar. Since. Ask him if he was ever married to me. Go on. Go on, ask. Were you ever married to her? And, uh, where? Uh, what church? What was my name? Ask. Mrs. Grimshaw. He's Smith, the sideshow man, and he saws people in half. He wanted me to be in the act. No thanks, I says. I only make believe, he says. Well, it would look a bit peculiar if it went wrong, and me ass and me elbow were on opposite sides. Mrs. Grimshaw. He's a con artist. He conned me, he did. He made me pretend to be his wife to get extra food handouts. That's all I meant to him, food. Snow here, Theodore. Now, here's me real bloke. We were sweethearts when I was 16. We had to run away to get married. Theodore and me. I will never leave him again. Mrs Grimshaw. That's me name. Get out. You too, Mr Grimshaw. What about our doll cart? You 